Don't let the lack of a repeater stop you from playing with DMR or any of the other digital modes. Keep watching to find out how. Hi, I'm Michael, KB9VBR, your host for Ham Radio Q&A. Well, do you enjoy entertaining and informative amateur radio videos? And is this your first time here? Then don't forget to hit that subscribe button to be notified when future videos are being released. Well, today we're going to continue our, um, our series on DMR or digital mobile radio. A part one of the series, we talked about the Redivis RT82 DMR dual band handheld radio. And in part two of the series, we dug deep into how to create your own DMR code plug. Well, in part three of the series, we're going to talk about uh, what you can do if you don't have easy access to a DMR repeater in your area. Well, DMR repeaters are springing up just about everywhere. There are currently over 850 DMR repeaters that are proposed or operational in North America alone. But if you, are live in a, but if you don't live in a large population area that's served by a DMR repeater, uh, you may f or you may find your DMR coverage lacking. So one method to access a DMR network is with a hotspot. A hotspot is an IP digital gateway, or that is, it, uh, the hotspot contains a very low power transceiver that's connected to a computer um, and the internet to give you access to the myriad of DMR repeaters and reflectors. Basically, a repeat, if the repeater is connected to the internet, you can most likely access it with your hotspot. This can be a boon for those living outside the, the range of a repeater or, or travelers that want to talk to uh, the repeater back home. But, um, if you live deep in, but if you're working deep inside a building too, a hotspot's a great way to get your RF signal out. So when you're searching for hotspots, uh, you'll notice quite an array of selections. Some are standalone, uh, some plug into the computers via the USB port, and some connect to a small computer such as an Arduino or a Raspberry Pi. If you're looking for the simplest solution, a standalone unit like the uh, Shark RF Open Spot might be the best choice. It's self-contained and once configured doesn't really require any computer intervention. But it can be cumbersome if you travel um, and, and if that's your main concern, then one of the USB models, you know, something like the DV4 Mini, which plugs into the USB port in your laptop, might be a better solution. Since I'm a bit of an experimenter, I chose the build your own approach. Upon recommendation of a friend, I selected the uh, DV Mega module that plugs into the Raspberry Pi a miniature computer. Since no software comes with the DV Mega, uh, he also pointed me out to the Pi Star uh, digital voice software. Pi Star is a comprehensive solution that supports not only DMR, but also D Star, IASU System Fusion, P25, and NXDN. In fact, PyStar has become quite complete and will run just about any board that follows the MMDVM or multi-mode digital voice modem standard. So you can plug in, you can, you can go, um, plug in with the DV Mega board or get one of the, the newer and cheaper ZumSpot boards that are now becoming available. You can also purchase your DV Mega kits uh, that contain all the parts you need along with the software on a SD card. But sourcing your parts yourself uh, can be fun, and I figure I saved about $40 uh, going with the build-it-yourself solution. So uh, putting the whole thing together was relatively easy. The first step was to download the PyStar uh, software and, and put that image onto your, S your micro SD card. Uh, this was probably the most challenging part of the whole, the whole situation, but uh, the PyStar website's got some good step-by-step -step tutorials to take you through the command line processes necessary in order to make that um, PyStar image file. That whole process took me about 20 minutes. Once that's done, you can start building your hotspot. Put the Raspberry Pi into its case. Uh, I used a developer's case, and I'm going to need to modify the, the top cover a little bit so my antenna fits. Uh, but there are Raspberry Pi DV Vega specific cases if you want a more, uh, a more complete solution. Uh, once that is, is done, um, insert the um, DV Mega onto the Raspberry Pi, uh, onto that 40 pin GPIO uh, interface. Insert the um, micro SD card with the uh, Pi Star image on it. Uh, connect a, um, a network cable. And then finally, uh, connect the power. And that's all there is to it. Uh, now, you want, when you first power up the DV Mega and the Pi Star combo, you will need a hardwired network connection in order to uh, do your initial configuration. Everything's done on the browser window, so uh, from that connection settings, you can um, 
add your call sign, your DMR ID, uh, you can set up the wireless networking so you don't need that um, network cable anymore. You can also select which digital modes you want to use. Uh, so in addition to DMR, uh, PiStar will also support DSTAR and System Fusion, among others. Uh, you're not locked into any one, any one system. Also on uh, the DMR side of things, uh, you can access the DMR Plus reflectors and all of the Brandmeister talk groups. It's really a full featured solution uh, for someone looking for a hotspot. So using that hotspot is really pretty straightforward. You program your radio with a simplex channel and a specific talk groups or reflectors uh, you want to use. I, I threw all my um, hotspot channels into one zone. Uh, then um, you can bring up the reflector uh, by uh, selecting the talk group on the radio and then transmitting briefly. Uh, the hotspot will now connect to that reflector. And then once it's connected, you can put out your call sign and uh, see who responds. To change reflectors, uh, select a different talk group on the radio and transmit briefly. Uh, if you want to drop a reflector, uh, you can transmit briefly to uh, talk group 4000 and it will unlink you from the current reflector. It's pretty much the same procedure as what you would do um, when, you're, when you're accessing a, straight, um, a regular plane of the mill DMR repeater. So the bottom line, uh, the DV Mega and PiStar combination is a great choice for adding digital, digital radio, a hotspot to your home station. Don't let the lack of um, a DMR repeater in your area keep you from um, experiencing the fun of um, DMR or digital radio. Roll up your sleeves and give that PiStar a shot. Are there any questions you might have on hotspots and uh, DMR? Please leave them in the comments below. I'd love to read them. I'm going to be having a channel update soon, so I'll go through all of your questions and comments and address them all at the same time. We also provided a few uh, links and resources in the video description below to help you get started with um, Pi Star and uh, potentially the, the DB Mega if you're looking for that type of a hotspot. Uh, also, uh, head on over to my blog at www.jpol-antenna.com for more articles and information about digital radio. And as always, if you like this video, you know, give me that big thumbs up. It's really appreciated. Check out the video that's um, being suggested right over there. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button, especially if you're first-timer subscribers. Um, they get, you get notified when the new videos are produced. That's, there you have it. I'm Michael, KB9VBR. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. And 73.